Uh, in this film I'm going to show you how to draw simple house plans uh, using TurboCAD. Here I'm using TurboCAD 18 Professional, Professional Platinum. So clearly you're going to have some sort of reference point. You're either going to have a sketch or in this case what I've used is a, a picture that I've brought in from the internet. It's an American bungalow suits the purpose and it's the one that I used uh, before for a film showing you how to rescale so this is a picture I brought in as a JPEG and I've rescaled it so that it's the true size and I can take measurements from it so if we uh, look at this uh, 26 foot across here so uh, I presume that 26 foot was about 7.8 meters, 7,800 meters, and so this should be the true size. Now I should be able to take some sort of measurement off that, and as you can see, that's about right. It's about 7,800 millimeters. Uh, the walls here, I'll take that measurement as well. They're about 150 thick, uh, and clearly you can see the way that the measurements are done on this building, uh, this drawing is outside measurements. So the first thing you'd want to do is, if you were taking measurements from somewhere like this, is go across here and take a few measurements, see where everything is, and probably do a, a sketch. I think uh, I would imagine rounding things off somewhere, size-wise. Um, once you've got all those measurements, you could leave them on here or you can uh, sketch them out on a piece of paper, whatever you want to do. Make take the references and make your drawing over here, which is what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a polyline, a double line polyline. That's a continuous double line. So I'm going to select the tool, right click, go to properties, double line. In the double line, it's going to ask me to set the separation, so the distance between the double lines. Well, when I looked over here, this is about 150, so I'm going to make that the same. I'm going to make it 150. I'm going to leave the reference point at left because I tend to draw in a clockwise direction, and I'm going to import input uh, interior sizes. And so I'm going to say OK. First thing I'm going to do is draw the outside of this building. So I'm going to snap to the grid there. I'm now going to leave my mouse alone. And I know that this height, uh, or so the vertical, is 7,800, roughly. So I'm going to go, I'm going to tab into these sizes down the bottom here. I'm going to go tab 7,800. Tab straight up is 90 degrees. Hit return. Then across, tab. 7,500. Tab. Direction from uh, left to right is naught. Hit return. Tab. 7,800. Tab straight down to 70. Hit return. Now I can come down to here, close, or I can simply right click and say close, which is what I'll do. So there's the outside of the building. The next thing to do is to try and assess the quickest way to draw this. I mean, if I draw all these walls as individual lines, it's going to take a bit of time. If I could find the, 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 I don't know, the essence, I suppose, of it, and where I could just draw one box maybe and a few lines off. And I think, if looking at this, this here is a sort of rectangle here I've got, isn't it? And I wanted to take, say, that measure. Oops, sorry, my fault, mistake here. Uh, measurement. I'll take that measurement here. See how wide those stairs, those stairs are. Uh, this being an American and it's a bungalow, those stairs are probably leading down to the. Uh, oh, well, they're bound to be leading down to the uh, basement. Anyway, these stairs are uh, about a metre wide. And I know how big. And I can take the measurement of this room here, from here to there. And I can say that's about two, 
let's say that's two uh, two and a half meters I can take the measurement from here down to there and I can say that's heading for five so four nine four nine meters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that room so I'm going to pick up my polyline again this time I'm going to snap to that point there with a v-snap and I'm going to draw that room so that room is I'm going to say uh, 4.9 by 2.5 so I'm going to go tab 4900 millimeters tab the angle down would be 270 tab I said the other uh, the width was 2500 tab oops wrong box sorry 2500 tab the angle across would be naught hit return right I've clearly made some sort of mistake there so I'm going to cancel that undo orthogonal right I'm going to start again I wasn't watching these boxes here I was drawing the lines but not watching what I was doing so there's a lesson V snap again now I want to come down again so let's try again 4,000 uh, tab 4,900 tab straight down is 270 hit return that's what I didn't do tab 2,500 tab straight across north right now it looks right hit return tab uh, again 4900 tab straight up is 90 degrees hit return now I want to finish it there so I'm going to go finish now I want to select all that and move it over so I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit the space bar to come out the tool I'm going to select it this way from right to the left means I've selected just what I want then down in the Delta X I want to move that all over a thousand and I'll give it a little bit more to allow for the uh, the width of the wall so 1150 and there it is and that's placed it okay the next thing is I've got to divide here so that I pick up the I just want a single line tool now I can snap to V here actually I could snap to V there as well I could then select the line now if I do that if you watch what's going to happen it's going to select everything I don't want that if I come from the left to the right it's going to select only the things that are completely encased and in this case it's just that little bit of wall I've got and that divide I want to bring that down 2500 so I'm going to go to tab delta 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 y this time because I want it to come down it's going to be a minus minus 2500 oops 2400 isn't it? 2500 hit return that's in place okay next is the uh, bedroom I can do the same thing here and this time I think I might draw what shall I do I can do that whole thing in one guy I can do uh, this line and that line because that's lined up and I, if I measure the, the width of that closet there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my polyline again I'm going to snap to this as a starting point and the bedroom I'm going to come down let's see was it 3800 so I'm going to tab in 3800 hit return oops mistake right click cancel here, here again tab 3800 and then I've got to go across another 3800 the room is square uh, so the angle down here is 270 hit return tab 
3,800. Tab, this time the angle is naught. Now, um, I can say finish. Again, I can sell, oops, sorry, I didn't come out at all. Hit the space bar. I can select that now. And I can send that over. And I think the, uh, the width of that cupboard there, that closet, was 900. So in delta x, no sorry, in delta y, I can type 900. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Clearly, it's delta x, delta x, 900. It's gone over the edge there, so there's a slight mistake. We can simply go up to modify. Um, and we have uh, not meet two lines, intersect double two lines, meet two double lines. If I go click, click, you can see that's tied that up for us. So small mistakes are easy enough. Um, the next thing we could do is we could have uh, this little cabinet. Now where are we at now? There's, there's our closet here. So if we want that line there, again we can uh, we can do a single I can do a V snap here and a V snap there I can select it and I can bring it down whatever that distance there is and I can take a measurement off there simply like that and say well it's about one and a half meters that's easy enough so I go over here I select that Delta Y minus one and a half meters, one, five, oh, oh. Let's put that into its place. Um, and I think there's one other thing here, perhaps this little bit here, we've got this line coming down here, that little cupboard there, and that cupboard I think is 900, I mentioned earlier, 900 by 600. So I can, again, get my polyline, I can snap to here, I can come up 900, so tab, 900 tab straight up is 90 degrees hit return tab 600 tab off to the right would be 180 degrees hit return right click finish hit the space bar select it and send it over that way 600 so delta x 600 hit return so there's the basics of our house. The next thing to do would be to chop parts out and to uh, put the doors in. We'll do that on the next video. We want to sort of finish this one here. Um, but the last thing I want to say is that uh, if you wanted this to be black, all black lines, you could have drawn the lines in black in the first place. Or you can simply select the whole thing, come up here, and give it a solid colour. Or, if you wanted to join these, in Modify, we have Intersect Double Lines. So, Meet Two Double Lines. And this tool you can be, oh, we've already done that one. This tool you can be quite blase about. You don't have to be too accurate. You can do this very quickly. And don't try and get close to these edges. Just go on the line. It knows where you want it you just click the line if for some reason it doesn't work try it the other way around you know sort of click on one line and the other one so that's the basics there's your your plan in the next film in this the uh, drawing plans 2 I'll show you how to chop out bits and pieces and put the staircase in but that's essentially all you need to do at the beginning that's got you going and that's your lots